Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna be talking about washing your eggs, how to and why you should wash your eggs. Before we get into that, please be sure to like and subscribe. That's how we continue to grow our channel so we can continue to put out great content for you all. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on egg laying chickens and a breakdown of each breed. Without further ado, let's get into it. So there's an age old debate surrounding the idea of washing fresh eggs. And there are really two ways of looking at it. To understand why there are so many questions surrounding the great egg washing debacle, we need to go over egg washing concerns. Why wash eggs? Rightfully so, egg washing is a must period. And at this point, I think everyone pretty much agrees on that where the fog rolls in are when to wash your eggs and how to wash your eggs. You see, when it comes to chickens, everything comes out of the same hole. This isn't the problem concerning hygiene, but what does cause a problem is when eggs come in contact with droppings or other environmental bacteria that can cause severe, sometimes deadly illnesses in those who consume them. E. coli is just one of the deadly bacteria that can get into your eggs, especially when you crack them open without washing them. The second one is salmonella. Now, do I have to wash store-bought eggs? If you have a fresh package of eggs from the grocery store, you can probably assume that the eggs have undergone rigorous washing procedures. That being said, you can never be too careful. Better safe than sorry. If you want, go ahead and give your eggs another scrub for good measure. I personally personally don't do this. I just crack them open if I buy them from the store. So can I leave my fresh eggs unwashed? The wonderful thing about fresh eggs right from the coop is that they haven't been washed that and they are incredibly fresh so why is an unwashed egg the good thing you ask but well before a hen lays an egg it's coated with what's referred to as a bloom the bloom or cuticle is a thin coating that covers the entire egg and protects the inside of the egg as well as the pores of the eggshell from bacteria in essence it seals the egg so developing chickens are protected from the elements a bloom also prevents excess moisture from leaving the egg which also speaks to one of the reasons the egg float test is an excellent way to tell the age of an egg. The more air in the egg, the older it is. It stands to reason that this bloom protects the humans that consume the egg from getting sick on any bacteria that may have gotten into a washed bloomless egg. Eggs from the grocery store do not have this bloom in place, thus they must be refrigerated immediately and eaten much sooner than unwashed eggs. So can I leave my fresh eggs on the counter? If you were traumatized by a parent scolding you for eating the raw cookie dough, I wasn't traumatized, but I would do it and I'd make a point to do it, especially when I was told not to. Anyways, you're probably taken aback just at the thought of leaving an egg out of the refrigerator for any period of time. But it's true, if you have an unwashed egg from the coop, you can leave out that fresh egg for a few weeks before they need to be refrigerated. Think of it this way. If a chick needs the bloom to protect it from bacteria for at least 21 days before it hatches, it's safe to assume the bloom protects the contents for at least that long. Eggs start to go downhill after about two weeks, meaning they don't taste as good as they did when they were fresh. So it's up to you for how long you want to keep your eggs on the counter. Either way, it's important to always wash your eggs before cracking them open. If there are any droppings or other bacteria on them proper washing will remove them and the bloom so how to wash your fresh eggs so there's a couple schools of thought regarding the best ways to wash your fresh eggs so let's break them down and you can decide which method is best for you first never wash your eggs in cold water ever why when an egg is submerged in cold water and the insides are warmer than the water, the pores open and pull bacteria in from the outside. So now that the bloom is gone, the bacteria can easily pass into the portion of the egg you plan to consume. Now let's talk about using water to clean your fresh eggs. Most chicken lovers can't stand how beautiful their hen's eggs are. We marvel at them, take pictures of them, probably post them on Instagram, but there's nothing worse than an egg that got kicked around in droppings, dirty water, or plain old just pooped on. In any of these situations you have to wash the egg if you'd crack an egg open and the contents came in contact with the outer shell you could easily introduce bacteria to your food when your egg is covered in poop follow this method of cleaning it number one in a bowl add water that is warmer than the egg not hot number two dip the egg into the water and lightly wipe them clean number three rinse the egg under running water number four gently dry your egg number five refrigerate or use immediately this method does not use soaps or chemicals to clean the egg however you can purchase egg washing soaps online from hatcheries some will also use vinegar to clean the filthy eggs but 
sometimes it's best to pass on extremely soiled eggs to be safe. Lastly, always inspect your eggs for small hairline cracks that may have not been visible before cleaning. If your eggs are cracked, toss them. Look for dark lines and gently squeeze your egg to expose cracks that may have not been visible to the naked eye in general. You should do this for all eggs before you cook them, not just visibly soiled eggs. Now let's talk about cleaning your eggs without water. Dry cleaning eggs is not advisable, but some people believe that it's the safest way to go if you're trying to prevent bacteria from entering your egg. If your eggs are filthy, consider passing on them if you do not want to wash them in water. The only time I might consider dry washing my eggs if I will not be using them right away. I might try to remove some of the dirt from the eggs. I plan to leave it out for a bit before consuming it. Even if I take that approach, I still wash the eggs before cooking them. More importantly, if your eggs are routinely dirty, it's time to clean up the coop and add some fresh bedding to the nesting boxes. To clean your eggs without water use, use a sponge or towel to rub off all the dirt and droppings from the egg gently. Never use the same cloth or sponge on other eggs. Always discard it after use. When you're storing your eggs in the refrigerator or on your egg skelter, try to store eggs with the skinny side down to prevent the already present air pocket from being broken by the yolk as it ages. A broken air pocket is another invitation for bacteria to enter the egg. Always store your eggs in a clean container and clean the container between uses. Washed eggs should be eaten much sooner than unwashed eggs, so date your cartons and discard old eggs. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for joining us today. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to share the channel. That's how we continue to grow our subscribers so we can continue to put out great content for you all. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.